In October 2004, the Mukata compound sheltering Palestinian leader Yasser Arafat had been under siege by the Israeli military for two years. The president was kept isolated in Ramallah as his health deteriorated steadily. At the end of the month, doctors said he was suffering from a bad case of the flu. But those around him began to suspect he had been exposed to poison. On the 28th of October, his wife crossed the Jordanian border to come and join Arafat in Ramallah after weeks of negotiations with the Israeli authorities. What do you know about Arafat condition? She had not seen her husband since 2001. Now she would accompany him to Paris. Arafat left by helicopter for Jordan, where a medically equipped plane flew him to France. He thought he might return. Israel had agreed. He was taken to a military hospital in Percy, near the French capital. But he got worse, not better, though the specific cause of his death on the 11th of November would remain obscure. French President Jacques Chirac saw to it that Arafat was honored officially, with Prime Minister Jean-Pierre Raffarin at Villa Coublet Airport in attendance as his earthly remains were put on board a plane back to Jordan. The burial took place in Ramallah the next day, and not in Jerusalem as Arafat had wished, as Israel would not permit it. <laughs>